Okay, boom, viewers, welcome back to the channel. Subscribers, when you already know the thing set, we're bliss. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. But that's a few popping topics we see trending in our dance that we need to discuss. Not in any particular order, so just watch at the end of the video so you don't miss a thing. You see my answer. Obviously, we want to kick it off with Dance or King Vibes Cartel because it seems like every move we make, the people them have something to say. You feel what I mean? Um, but first, let's talk about him being diagnosed uh, with basically PS. TD. Yes, we know I'm of the Graves thing, but he also has PS, P, PS TV. It's in my ass. So let's take a listen to what he has to say and then we'll proceed. What was your reaction yeah. when you found out that it was official? Vibes is gone. I, I, G, even now I haven't processed it. I, I, even now, I tell people this and they think I'm joking or I'm trying to be emotional. I, even now, I haven't processed it. Sometimes I wake up. Sometimes I'm afraid to post because I think I'm in prison and I have to hide my phone. Like just crazy stuff like that. I wake up at like at seven o'clock looking around if if I'm gonna get searched. If when sometimes when I hear a key, I'm like, yo, because you know the the officers they shake the key in the morning when they're coming to check the muster. So uh, I'm still going through a lot of that, man. Trust me, it's gee, I'm grateful to be out, but I still haven't processed it. In that way, man, and uh, every day I have to pray to God. I was in prison. I prayed. I'm like, God, if you get me out of this place, I will never stop calling your name. I will never stop praising you. Trust me, man. So, but I'm still in that mindset and I'm working on it. PTSD. It's mental. Yeah, man, it's very mental. Mental damage, man, and mental health. Black people don't like to really talk about it, but it, it's a real thing. So I'm telling you. Yes, people putting out their comment section, can Vibes Cartel use this as grounds, um, you know, for being traumatized. You see, Marcel, when he sues, um, you know, Jamaica, you taxpayers. You see, Marcel, as you can see, people is saying that's basically what um, he has, because that's what he sounds like. You know, when people go to war and come back home, you know, certain things trigger a certain reaction. You see, Marcel, and next thing we say them a beat vibes tell with vibes call tell about is see them. He see me, so let's take a listen to what I go on for that one and then we proceed. Because basically he's they're saying that they don't care about him family. You know what I mean? I just see them on you know. Yeah, watch it, wipe me, baby. Yeah, thank you. But my worst days in prison were the days when I didn't have visits. Like when I could see my girlfriend come to me. In the, and that was also a, a terrible day too because it's fun when she comes, but it's sad when she leaves. It, it, it's, it's bittersweet, as as people would say. So you know what I mean. Every time he goes away, yeah, she's right. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, put in the comment section if you think he said anything wrong because I can't find the screenshot because you know everybody a post card telling people I say I got thing you know but. They're saying so he wasn't sad not seeing his family. People, if you know anything about prison, it's not a nice place for children to come visit. You know what I mean? Uh, remember, these are children. They're still growing. Their mind is still growing. You know what I mean? Seeing your loved one in prison, um, it, it, it puts a damper in your mind. You know, it makes you depressed. You see what I say? So this is why people don't want their children visiting them. And I them dirty place there for for the system to come scrutinize them and all type of things. Them, you see, man, I say, um, I'm pretty sure he talked to them every day on the phone. <laughs> you feel me? And FaceTime them. You know what I mean? Um, they come and check in from time to time. But you know, what I mean, it's not a place for kids. You know, what I mean, kids have a focus uh, upon them future and them schoolwork. You feel me? Um, so this is why you know, see them is so. Uh, close to him because shouting now work so shouting should have been at jail every day I visit the world boss but should they have rode out the road you see me but let's give them a quick update on that putting in the comment section where now I feel okay the next trending topic I see out there has to deal with Jada Kingdom cause you know yesterday on my IG live somebody said is Jada Kingdom really 26 years old cause you know it's her birthday and she's celebrating everybody uh, puts her up and all of these stuff you see me I say, um, and a lot of people is not believing that she's 26 years of age. So put in the comment section, how old does Jada Kingdom look? Because, Mr., you know, Shensia is 27 years old. And Shensia, 
and Jay the Kingdom basically. Me don't want to say them go school together, but them did a run road together, you feel what I mean? And I'm pretty sure Jay the Kingdom is not older than Shensi. You know what I mean? Because you know Jay the Kingdom, I think, was the baby of the group. Nevertheless, when I can go up on Google and check out these people's age, because you know these type of things, um, it's publicized. As you can see, Spice is wishing her happy birthday, blah, 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 blah. You feel what I mean? Um, but yeah, I didn't know it was a big deal. Tell me, say, my DM full of people that ask, is Jada Kingdom really 26 years of age? You see what I say? And yes, she is. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's proceed to the next. Okay, people, I have a little update with the Ivani Hui Karina situation because it looked like Sir Karina is working with a few Jamaican pages to take Ivani down and, you know, to make. You know who we get full custody. You see what I say? So Margarito, they things them for owner right now. Okay, so you know the usual intro. I got some info. You feel what I mean? This is all who we love to do. I was on the live earlier and noticed someone mentioned some things about who we. He definitely has a few cases in court for non-payment. Karina is his meal ticket, and she knows it. The sender went on to say, "I'm not sure if Vani is aware." But Karina is working with the page, which will go against her. With whatever case she has against Ivani, because that TikTok page only bashes Ivani, you know, and her mother in skills. This is what I said. The page posts the conversation, which exposes Karina for being in communication with them. A page that posts Ivani up and down their timeline. And now, people, remember, I'm just a messenger, but Miss them page, yeah. Uh, and other pages out there. So I didn't think anybody have a personal vendetta against Ivan. <laughs> you feel me? Because you know, you have people that like her and don't. And they still post her. But nevertheless, the page um, posts, you know, screenshot with Karina. As you can see, um, person says, LOL, Scrub and Bella say, registry been up for four months. I don't know if those are TikTokers or friends of Ivani, But the person said, hi. Can you show the registry again? Blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. You see my say, show the registry purchase. A uh, person made a purchase, you feel me? And post it up um, on their TikTok page, you see me? Then the sender went on to say, you know, uh, he lacks emotional um, intelligence and who is speaking. And the sender provided a screenshot of this comment saying, Young lady, all I have to say is your case would be worse. Even your Spanish Obia man can't save you. The one that you go for, Kui. I said, God over everything. You need to tell the people how your mother gas you up to have a child for Hui. Tell the people the drugs you and Hui are selling and be using before you talk of sympathy. You was the one who that introduced Hui to the Mali. He was already a crackhead cause he be smoking weed. You know what I mean? It is a medication. Tell the people why your daughter don't live with you. You know what I mean? The first daughter she has is him. Um, the list can go on, but you and Hui want to go, uh, want to co-parent over the young lady child and be on that pink, you know, that diddy cocaine. You feel me? Young mommy, I provide this. And I say, God watching and everybody that's picking side. The police soon find out um, who these two are. 11 2024 Rain doesn't fall at one person's door. You see me? I say, people, what does 11 2024 mean? You see me? I say, put in the comment section. Is that... Um, you know, a future court case or whatever, you feel me? But Minister, giving an update while I go on for it to go on. I'm just a messenger, don't crucify me. Put in the comment section where I feel about that. Now, the next thing I see popping um, in dance hall that a next sender um, sent me. If I don't want me to do a review and have to send me the things that Missy Ma said, it has to deal with Tiffa. You know, I mean, you know, Tiffa was basically, um, how should I say this, uh, blacklisted from the industry. Um, by Ramesh and Shensia. You see me, I say, it's no secret. You know what I mean? Tiffa said these things. You see me, not me. You know what I mean? But nevertheless, she is still blessed. Um, and her boyfriend of so many years, they finally decide to pop the question. You see me, I say, um, I don't know how long they've been together, but it's definitely a good look to see um, more and more people in dance are getting married. You see me, I say, because I guess it's like a stigma in dance hall for the man they not for marry 
and well we already know how the female artist them um is you know Chanel Moore and <laughs> Fia man anyway people man I got long out this no longer you know don't forget to like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I drop the latest in a dance on news musical reviews and gossips bless